This is just a really quick video. We're gonna fix up one thing that I've noticed is an error in previous ones, and we're gonna add uh, one extra gun. Um, now this one here, we're gonna modify a few scripts. So first of all, some of you may have had an issue where the enemy was getting kind of caught on walls with its navigation. Now I originally uh, had, this wasn't a problem for me, but in the code that I wrote for this one, I tried to take a shortcut and turns out it's causing some issues. What we need to do is go into the, the basic enemy and we're gonna change some code in here. So what I am going to add is we've got this timer. We're gonna turn this timer on auto start and we're going to click on node and go to timeout and connect that in here. Then we're gonna take this code here. So this line here where it says find path player.global.transform.origin and copy that and put it into the timer. And then we are going to delete that. So what was getting, what was happening is it was creating a path that maybe it couldn't quite follow and it was, it was getting, it was getting caught up. Um, so now what's going to happen is every one second on the timer here, which is a pretty decent time, it's going to create a new path to find the player. So we will change that later on, of course, when we do some better enemy stuff. Um, for the next part though, I'm going to open up the pistol scene. I'm going to duplicate this scene. I'm going to call this one Uzi. Now this could simply be a chain gun, anything really that's going to fire automatically. Um, but I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to make some uh, modifications to it. So I'm going to go down to Uzi actually. And I'm going to rename this to be Uzi. I'm going to go to Gun Sprite. We're going to change this stuff in here. Um, so these sprite frames, I'm going to change that. I've got my sprites for this. The Uzi sprite. I'm going to pop that into there. Delete that one. And the, the shoot one is going to be these three. I'm going to pop that in there and then delete that one, that one, and that one. All right, so there's my Uzi sprite. Now I'm going to change this gun sprite down a little bit more so it's kind of right there. There we go. Okay, and yep, so that's good. All right, there's, a, there's like some guy's signature underneath that. All right, so that's what we want here for this. Uh, what happens if I delete that one? Yeah, that's, that's what we want. All right, so now with this, what I'm going to do is change it so that uh, we're going to change this code up here. And I'm going to also add a timer to this. Uh, let's go timer, add a timer. Now I could add this timer to all guns, but it's not going to matter here. I'm going to say export var rapid fire equals false. Okay, I'm going to default this to false and it's going to allow me to do something uh, just down here. So I am going to say, um, yeah, actually, I'm not gonna do that. I don't think we need that. Instead, I'm gonna put this timer on and I'm going to set the timer to auto start and say 0.2, uh, and I'm going to go node, timeout, and add it to this script. Now, if there's nothing calls this signal, it's never gonna do it, but I'm gonna say can shoot equals true. And this one here, I'm gonna change it to is action pressed. So if action is pressed and can shoot, so you only have to hold the mouse button down. Let me test this, make sure it works. So I'll open up the world scene. Um, by the way, if you haven't figured it out yet, you can hit play here, it'll ask you to select a scene. So, and I'm just gonna select the current, which is world, so that whenever I click play, it will run the, the world. Okay, so if I just hold the mouse button down, yep, it's just shooting. Um, so that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna turn all those collision things off for now. 
I'll leave on navigate. No, I'll get rid of it. All right, and I'm going to add in to the player. I'm going to go to the player script. We're going to, again, we're going to preload another one of these in. Uh, we'll call that, well, that'll be the boozy one. And we're going to give the player that at the start just so we can test it. So if I run this now, I should be able to switch to this gun, hold it down, and it should just spray. There we go. Okay, so we've got that there. Now, if you want it to, to go faster, um, then just decrease that, decrease the time on the, uh, where are we up here? Decrease the time on the timer. And that should work. So we go inspector. Uh, point two might be a bit long. I'll just go point one and hit play, test it out. Switch to, oops, switch to that gun. And there we go, it worked. Okay, so that's that one, pretty short video. Um, hope that helps. Next one we'll do a rocket launcher and then we'll get into making the player stats and possibly a basic UI just to start with.